Right? You're live? Just confirming that everything's appearing okay on the screen real quick, and we'll get started. But it's not. Alright, so then just go ahead and you should see a pop up now that I'm already in the notifications. Okay, so tell everybody about your new dress. I got this on my birthday, and it's Elsa. Okay, so she, she always dresses like a princess on our lives, which I think she had, she's on to something. It's not working. It says it's your paws. Oh. It takes a second. So I think she's onto something. I mean, who wouldn't want to, you know, dress like a Disney princess and craft, right? So she outgrew her other Elsa dress, and Elsa's her favorite character, so we need to buy her one that fit, fit her. So she got that as a birthday gift, and of course she had to show it to everybody. Um, all right, so we're going to uh, first do some setup for the templates. I'm just going to show you that um, my husband will film over my shoulder. Um, so you can see just the basic way I have my uh, template set up in Design Space. If you don't have a Cricut, that's totally fine. I know most of us here do, um, but it's totally fine. If you don't, these templates do come with printable PDFs, so you can absolutely use a pair of scissors if you do not have um, a cutting machine. You can cut these out on the Joy as well. It doesn't have to be just the Explorer or the Maker. The only difference is you're going to have to just cut out only one to two petals at a time instead of a whole 8.5 by 11 or 12 by 12 sheet at a time. Um, so that's the only difference is it'll just be more times of loading the mat, but you can definitely soak it in with the joy as well. Okay, I think that was it. Okay, so you want to come over here, babe? So, first off, to access the templates, if you're wanting to uh, download these exact templates, you can get them two ways. You can either go to members.abbykirstencollections.com, and you'll find that in the event. Um, the event description as well if you're watching this from the event page and you'll just type in marigolds somebody's saying it's hard to hear hard to hear if anyone else can confirm whether or not they can hear me that would be good i have i have my mic completely exposed here so let me know if you can hear me okay so if we're going to i'm just going to continue for the moment if anyone else has trouble hearing me let me know and i can always try and restart the video um, all right, so if you want to download these templates, members.abbykirstencollections.com, and they are available here, principal PDF and SVG cut files, so whichever you are planning to use. If you don't wish to join the monthly membership, then you can, of course, go to my main shop, which is under my original brand name, Catching Colorflies, and that is also linked um, or I will link that also in the description. Or if Susan, if you're on and you want to drop the shop link in the comments, you can do that as well. I would greatly appreciate it. Susan is my executive VA and she's fabulous. Um, and so we're also going to be featuring, so Marigold, you would just find that here like this, just so you guys are know exactly. One, either one of those is fine. They're both the same. They're just listed twice. All right, so that's how you find the templates. I'm also going to be featuring my Paper Bloom Shaping Mat and Tool Set. It's not it's not essential to creating this. I will show you how to create it without it as well, but this is something I will be featuring. So if you're curious about it, you will find it here in the shop as well. Um, it's great for paper crafts and all of that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna hop over to Design Space now. Okay, so we're in Design Space. And these are the Marigold templates that you would download from either members or if you want to download them individually in a shop. And I've uploaded them via the upload button. So if you're not familiar with Design Space, you would upload them right here. And that would be the SVG format. Don't try and upload the PDF because that one won't work. You'll want to use the SVG format. Sometimes SVGs can appear as like HTML documents if you're not familiar with that. So just keep an eye out for that in case that's what's showing up for you. So I'm going to cancel this since I already have them uploaded. All right, so you'll notice in the templates here that there are two different types of base petals. There's this 5.1 and then this 8.1, I think. Um, and you're going to have four of the, I think that's eight, no, that's, yeah, 8.1. And then you'll have five, uh, the 5.1, you'll have two cuts of those. And then for the center, you'll see a poppy center, and that's going to go in the center of our marigold here. And this one is, um, you'll need four of those. And you can copy the measurements on my screen here, or you can scale them to different sizes. So I play around with scaling them. Feel free to do that. This one's about two and a half inches by two and a half inches, roughly. And the, let me ungroup this so you guys can see. 
This one here is about 3.6 by 3.6, and the bottom one is 3.2 by a little under 3.2. So those are the rough measurements that I'm using in today's tutorial. Like I said, feel free to play around with them. Um, if you're rescaling these, I recommend selecting them all and rescaling them as a group so that you're keeping the proportions of your template. So that's what I always recommend. Um, let me undo that real quick. Okay, and then I also have some leaves here. So let me detach those real quick. And leaves are really up to your preference. I'm doing about 3.2 by 3.2 and 2.7 by 2.4 for a smaller one, but really I've made these in all sorts of sizes, guys. So don't feel super hung up while making it exactly. Uh, play around with it, it's totally fine. Uh, one thing I like to do when I'm making my flowers is I like to use the attach tool so that I can hold the placement of things when I'm cutting them out um, on my cutting machine. So I'm gonna attach the marigold petals and the center and the leaves. And these aren't going to take up my full sheet of paper and that's okay. Um, if you're wanting to maximize your paper, then maybe you would, whether you're using 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11, maybe you would um, fill that, you know, this one here is kind of close if you're using an eight and a half by 11, uh, but maybe you would cut more of these to fill your paper up with. <clears throat> all right, make sure you save your project. It's always important to save your project. We all know Design Space has its days where it likes to just uh, you know, shut down on you or not load appropriately. And if you save your project, you can just open it right back up and you don't have to set anything up again. Uh, I'm going to be using my Maker 3, but if you're using any of the other machines, that's totally fine. Just make sure you have selected that um, as your machine here. And I'm going to click the Make It button now. And then we're going to go over our supplies next um, before we load everything. So I want to make sure you guys are totally aware of all the supplies I'll be using. I'm doing the mat on the mat. If you're on the original maker or the explorer, you won't see that option. It'll just take you to a screen that looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna hit continue. It's gonna connect to my machine, machine excuse me, and I'm gonna jump behind my desk now and we'll go over supplies. <laughs> you look so pretty. What? We're going to start doing our back now, okay? All right, first off, I'd love to know where everyone's um, from, actually. I just didn't really do much of an introduction, but I'd love to know where you guys are tuning in from today. We had a bunch of people join the group yesterday from Canada, Scotland, Australia. It's like international. Yeah, all over the world, right? So I was really excited to see how international the group is growing. So I'd love to know where you're from. Is there any questions or comments there? Not yet. Okay. So feel free to chat with me, guys. It's lonely over here on the screen. So questions, comments, funny questions, where you're from, anything like that, craft-related questions, pop them in the chat there and just fire away. All right, so first and foremost, I'm using cardstock paper. We have an Ohio. Ohio, okay. So my grandparents are from Ohio. And my dad lived there for most of his childhood, actually. Well, and we got somebody from Calgary in Canada. Oh. There's lots, there, I have lots of Canadians that have come to the group recently. It's really cool to see like how international things have gotten. All right. So for paper, I'm using a 65 pound weight paper here. Uh, you can go as low as 50 pound. You could go up to 80 pound. I recommend not going above 80 pound because the paper will get very stiff. And when you're curling the petals, it will often leave wrinkles. Um, so I highly recommend sticking with around 65 pound cardstock. I got this at Michael's Craft Store. I also have other resources on my blog if you want to check that out as far as like cardsandpockets.com and some other online websites um, that are great resources for uh, cardstock as well. We got a Colorado. Colorado, that's where my husband, you lived there during your high school years, right? Yeah, I graduated high school there. It's hard to keep track. He's a military brat, so. <laughs> and we got somebody from the UK. Yeah, UK, awesome. It's dinner time. Oh, dinner time. Well, thanks for joining us. All right. What's it? Right now they're in Yeah, so in different parts of the world, it's in different time zones. So it's not the same time everywhere in the world. So if we're in the morning, so if they're, so if we're in the morning, they're a little down, so they're going to go and sleep, and when it gets brighter. <laughs> yeah. So. I didn't follow that, but I'm sure there's logic there somewhere. Yes, baby, there's different time zones, and it's it's darker where they're at in their time zone. So 
some places, yeah, some places it's nighttime or it's evening time. It's all different all over the world. Okay, so continuing with our supplies now. Um, I'm also using a high temp hot glue gun. I recommend high temp because um, the glue won't dry quite as quickly and it flushes through me. So high temp. We got Illinois, Michigan. Like I said, a pair of scissors if you are cutting by hand. I use a quarter inch wood dowel to curl the petals with the marigolds. So um, if you don't have a quarter inch wood dowel, you could also use a spare glue stick. It's close enough in size, you can get away with that. So don't be afraid to improvise or even a pencil, it's fine. Um, this is my paper glue shaping mat and tool set I will be featuring in the video. It comes with four ball tools and a mat. It's great for paper crafts. Um, so that is an optional thing. And I am going to show you guys how to stem the flower today. So I recommend, you want to hold it for me? I recommend 18 gauge wire for the actual flower stem. And you can do 24 or 22 gauge wire if you're wanting more of a flexible stem. If you want it to be very bendable, easily bent, then you may want something that's like a 22 to 24 gauge. I'm going to be using the 18 gauge because I like the thicker. So I got these at Michael's, but check out Amazon as well. They also have them. Just type in floral stem 18 gauge and you should be able to find it that way. Okay, so I think I've covered all of the supplies. Let's go ahead and load our templates here. I'm going to start cutting out the base templates first. And I am using a medium cardstock, so I'm selecting medium cardstock in Design Space. Joanne says she uses the dollar store skewers to use instead of dowels. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've actually used skewers. One time I lost, like, I... In my earlier days, I didn't use buy these packs, so I would buy them like individually in like the individual section at the craft store, and I lost it. And we had some barbecue skewers in our kitchen drawer, and I ended up using them. So yes, that can work too. Okay, let me see, baby. I'm gonna load this. Do you want to help me? All right. So carefully, can you reach from where you're at? If not, you need to move your stool. Can you reach? Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. Good job. Yeah, that's perfect. Good job. All right, 
So we're just taking each of these petal points for our marigolds and we're pressing it around. You can use, like I said, a, a glue stick also works if you don't have this. I used to use glue sticks all the time. So it works just as well as you can see. Um, so you're going to do that with all of the petals. There is six petals total, two mm -hmm. of the five point, yep, and four of the eight point ones. Is it the 8.1? Alright. So our mat is done. You want to hit the unload button or you want me to hit it? Do you want to hit it? Okay. There we go. You want to take those off for me and I'll keep scrolling? There, let's make some space for you. On the, no, remember, on the, on the table and we peel the mat. We peel the mat. Oh, upside down. We peel the mat away from our material, not our material away from the mat. That will help your paper not curl, especially if it's a fresh mat. Especially how you step. She's going to be in charge of that. All right, so I'm going to continue to curl these here. If you guys have questions, stop me. Let me know. If you have non-related questions to this, that's fine too. There's one. So I made all of these last year, actually, and put them in these little like black boots. They set from Michael's. Yep, I got from Michael. These here are zinnias. So this one, obviously, I'm not showing you today, but they were in the arrangement. So I also have zinnias if you want those to kind of match well. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Trying to get this little piece to come off. Do you want to cut that little piece? Yeah, you can just set it over there. We'll, we'll cut our scraps away later, okay? Can you grab that mat and put on the green paper and then just there it medium, medium. Mama, this is stuck. I couldn't use any other so I to use. Yeah, you don't want to use that maybe because that's gonna probably tear the, the paper. paper. So again, flip the mat over. And then gently, yep, see how easy that is? Just don't just don't crease it. Don't crease the mat. Just curl it. There you go. Mm -hmm. See how that lets you pull it away? Gently. There we go. Good job. Yeah, all, right. all right, go ahead and put that over there. Now can I curl this one? Yeah, you can start curling these here. Why don't you curl the pink ones? Oh, no, there's the stick on. Alright, so I'm cutting the leaves out now. I'm just following all the pebbles on the screen here. Do the leaves need to get curled? Um, we can we can maybe curl them a little bit in a minute. We're gonna work on the flower first, okay? Yeah. Yep, that works. Over, just like that. Oh, you bent it up like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did it. Mm-hmm. And it helps, honey, if you hold it between your your front finger and your thumb. I can't do it like this. Hey babe, speak a little louder. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Can any can everyone hear me if I speak like this, or is that still too low? Just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <laughs> I'm a learned extrovert, so I'm I'm introvert and quiet is kind of my nature. Um, all right. We've got all of these petals curled. Give it. That's perfect. Why don't you keep yours over here? Okay. Are they still having trouble? You're saying it's better now? I have to turn the fan off. I didn't know if we had the fan on too. That might have been muffling some of it. Okay. All right. So this is tearing. All right. So troubleshooting 101 example here. These are heavy. I can't really do it. Do you, I need a level of one. I need you to wait just a second, honey. All right. So this paper's tearing on me. Now, this paper here is a metallic paper and it's slightly thinner than the other one. I would say this is closer to 50 pound. And even though like this one cut out almost perfectly, but this one didn't, um, there can be several reasons for that. It can be the paper type. It can be maybe there was some sort of debris on the mat. That's good, babe. I think they get it. <laughs> he's, really, he's super specific. Um, <laughs> there could be some sort of debris on the mat that was catching underneath. It was causing this. I have had occasional trouble with the metallic paper depending on the cut. So in hindsight, given sort of the ridges of these leaves, maybe I would have chosen a different style of paper. Um, so I'm going to unload this one just because obviously we don't want ripped leaves. This one's really bad. This one almost cut perfectly. This one didn't. 
but I do get paper that rips from time to time. So this is just sort of an example of that. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen when I picked this paper, but it's one of my favorite greens. So if I was going to cut this out on something that, or if I was going to cut use this paper to cut something out with that wouldn't tear, I would say go with something that's very simple in shape, kind of like a, just a very basic sil uh, silhouette of a leaf, not something that has all these little ridges and details. So I'm going to choose a different card. Do you want it this way or do you want it this way? It doesn't matter, sweetie. Okay. Can you look in the uh, green paper drawer over there and see if you can find me another? And this is not a completely fresh mat, so there is like, I probably could have scrubbed it beforehand. It was pretty clean, but sometimes just having the degree of clean can be a problem. No, it's fine, baby. Also, cardstock for intricate cut setting, that can be helpful on the thinner ones. Yeah, that'll work, thank you. All right, so we're going to go with this one. This one's a little bit thicker. Uh, it's not metallic, but we're going to get this one try. And we're going to change the setting to cardstock for intricate cuts. I've done it without the intricate cut setting before, but sometimes it's just what day of the week it is and if it works or if it doesn't work. It's not square, does that matter? I'm going to select the cardstock for intricate cut setting to try these leaves and see if that improves it. Because usually that will solve the problem. So what else is everyone crafting right now? I see lots of people posting fall stuff in the groups. Anyone already started crafting Christmas stuff? Because usually I'm already like in crafty Christmas mode come like August, but I never really get to it until like middle to end of October. So what are you guys crafting right now? Have you moved on to Christmas stuff, decorations? Are you still in like fall mode? I'd love to know. Right now it seems like we're doing fall because these are the kind of colors of fall. Mm -hmm. This one, this one, and kind of this one. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can you scoot down for me a little bit, girl? You're gonna help me with the flower in so that's okay. A flower. One you girl. So you're gonna build one with me. Alright, so this one's cutting much better. So, okay, can you see my desk? No. They see you. Alright, so let's look here, honey. Yeah, those two. And you're gonna start with these four. So let's go. Do I need this anymore? Uh, not right now. Yeah. All right. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. yes. All right. So while those leaves are cutting, we're gonna go ahead and build. You're gonna build one with mommy, okay? I'm mm -hmm. just gonna put the glue down for you so you don't hurt yourself. So we have some October birthday cards and spirit-free birthday decorations, fall stuff. Mm -hmm. So far. Okay. So um, for building this marigold flower, here's what we're gonna do. The ones that are the eight point petals, you're gonna start with first. The five point mm -hmm. ones are going to be the last ones we add. So you're starting with these first. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, so taking one of the eight point petals, I'm just going to tuck it. I'm tucking mm -hmm. all the petals the same direction. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you an easier method, okay? Be patient. So they're all the same direction. I'm going to give them a little bit of a twist. And what this is doing is it's forcing the petals to want to kind of stand up, going from flat to standing up. Now, an alternative to this, and this is where the, the mat and tool set comes in. You have to them together. I'm going to show you how to do it with the mat and tool set, though, okay? So here, oh. hold this. Okay, so an alternative, let's use one of her petals here is taking one of the ball tools, like one of the medium-sized ones. This one or this? Uh, that's fine. And putting medium pressure in the center and rolling it. 
it's alive. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll stand up on its own like that. Instead of tucking all the petals and twisting, which takes a little bit longer, this is much faster. Um, and this is the beauty it's of the tool set. Now you can obviously still achieve pretty much the same effect regardless if you have this or not. But if you plan to do a lot with paper flowers or paper craft in general, this tool set is really awesome. Yeah, you did a good job. So do you want to do that with the rest of yours since that's a lot easier for you? So you're going to repeat that with all of yours, okay? So just do this in the center and repeat that, okay? Yes. Oh, oops, he's going to be right now. The little ones right there. Like All right, so I'm going to do the alternative method of tucking here and twisting. And she's going to use the, the matting tool set. Sort of twist and then I open it out. And, and cardstock for intricate cuts does take longer because what it does is it cuts it twice so that it's not putting a lot of pressure on the paper, which is often what causes it to rip. So like this? Yeah, that's perfect, baby. Yeah, I tried to like crumble it up a little bit and then I did that. So it stand it yeah. Good job. Now I see that one. I need, I'll do the, did you, is there any more itty bitty ones? Yeah, that one I'm going to do last because these ones are fun. So either one of these methods is going to work. It's just, do you want to have the tool set to help you, or are you okay doing all the tucking and twisting? Now the big ones I can do with two. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all right. There we go. Those are ready. So we're going to start, you keep working on that, okay? We're going to start with, again, the eight-point petals here. I'm going to slightly flatten one, about, one out because it is the base petal. And then I'm going to grab my high temp hot glue gun. So put some hot glue in the middle there. And then we're going to place another eight-point one on top. And you want to let it fall so that the petal points are alternating between each other. So they're not directly stacked, they're falling every other one. And that's what's going to make the flower look like it's blooming. Oh, very good, baby girl. Okay, All right, continuing with eight point petals again here. I'm just going to sort of gather, gather those up again. You can put in the middle or on the bottom. I tend to, after the first one, put it on the bottom of the next one. Keep it fall open, and then before the glue sets, just make sure those petal points are alternating. They are. Just yeah. a little bigger one. All right, so we have the last eight point one here. Do you know how I make it stand up? I do this. And yep, you kind of do. You add do a little tuck and twist. <laughs> Either works. Better. Not yet. And then I hold it up right I now. hope that's a good sign that there's not a lot of questions. I hope that means that this is like making sense to everybody. <laughs> there we go. There's a smiley one. Mm -hmm. Do you do? Thank you. Now I find this finally. Do you have to do it with this one too? In a minute. We're not quite there yet. Alright, this will be a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna load this real quick here. Now, obviously, if I was, you know, filling this out, I would have maybe filled the paper with this, but for time's sake and not letting it be the world's longest cut for you guys, I only did a few. And I'm just going to curl. Okay, and now I'm going to do it again. Okay, well, I'm going to finish building this one, then I'll help you build yours, okay? Wow. Push yourself down. You probably leave something, right? The one that was hanging on the door. You mean that one over there? Yeah. Did you use those leaves or did you make a different one that has covers on them? Um, I don't remember. Alright, <laughs> so now we're down to our five point petals. And again, just sort of gathering them. Yay! One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six layers? Yep. Alright, so let's like that. And then we're gonna add our last one in. You're gonna do the bottom of it? I'm hoping. So this is the last one here. Alright, All right, there we go. So that is the marigold petals all built there. We've got to add the center in. But first, we're going to let Ella build her flower. Alright, there we go. Let's move the mat out of the way so we don't really need it now. I don't want to do it on here, so I don't. We don't want to do it on here because you could get hot glue on it and it would ruin the mat, okay? Let's put over the center. Yeah, you're good. I'll bring it to you, okay? Alright. I'm gonna let Ella build her flower here for a minute. Now, pick up this one and go ahead and place it right on top. The audience says they are mesmerized and drinking coffee. <laughs> oh, good, I'm glad. My husband hates coffee, so. I love coffee. I love coffee. She doesn't have regular coffee, guys. She has. She's tasted decaf coffee once. <laughs> no, I do not feed my children. But my children drink caffeinated beverages. <laughs> I'm not the world's worst mother. Okay. All right. So get the next one. That one. No, not to put the glue on. All right. Now put that one. Mm-hmm. You see how? Very good. So you got the petal points alternating there. It's a really good job. All right. So let's get ready to do the next one. Got it. Okay. There you go, put it in. Mm hmm Okay, good job, baby. I'm gonna start with that last two. You make on this one right here? Yep. Alright, so that one's ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. And that's gonna be on the day. Can we make five more flowers and you can make lunch or something? Make five more flowers? What if I only make four more flowers? It doesn't matter. <laughs> if one ain't more jelly, then you can come back and. There you go, good job. Okay, we gotta add the center next. Let it set up real quick because we don't want to twist the petals. Okay, there you go. Very good. Okay. So we gotta cut out our other center. That is mommy's center, and I'm gonna cut yours out next. Let's see. Mine are light yellow. You want me to get light? Yellow? You'd rather do yellow on yours than orange? That you think that'll look better? It might look better. You wanna go find a yellow? Yeah, I wanna go find Okay, be careful. Careful with your with this. All right, so while she's picking out her yellow for the center of her flower, I will do this one for mine. Now, again, you can simply gather these together with your fingers, kind of like so, and get the paper to kind of stand up, or you can use the tool set and one of the smaller ball tools. to train that paper to want to curl up. I got a little later yellow. A yellow? Okay, that'll work. Good job. And then you still want to sort of gather it a little bit there. Wait, this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me a minute. <laughs> well, that, that really works. <laughs> it's like magic. It's like magic. <laughs> you didn't hear it from me, guys. You heard it from the kid. It's like magic. Get the mat. <laughs> Yeah, but they didn't see you, baby. Oh. <laughs> the camera's on this side, sweetheart. Come over here. You scared of Mr. Mommy, though. You'll see it that way. Say hi. Hi. This is my son, Wyatt. Ella's usually the crafter with me, but he likes to pop in sometimes for making flowers. You doing okay down there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. I won't be much longer, okay? Wait. Why is it? That's, that's the video. That's you. 
And we just had somebody join from Southern California. Oh, welcome, California. I've only been to California once. I was a teenager, but it's really beautiful. What part of California are you from? I visited, well, I visited a lot. I visited Napa, Monterey. I think we stopped in LA. Um, Monterey was my favorite. That's I'm just close. <laughs> All right, so we're going to add in the center next. So I build the center and then I add it in. And we got somebody from Texas. Hi, Texas. Oh, gosh, I've never come to Texas. You've never, never been? been to Texas. But there's an and earthquake. There's a huge rattlesnake in it, and it walks and it can <laughs> scratch you up with his feet. Yeah, well, that, that's only if you go to certain places outdoors. In the desert. In yeah, the you desert. don't have to worry about that. All right, so I'm placing one inside the other here. I'm kind of reverse building it, so I gather, and then I place inside the other. Do you have to do that for me? Yeah, I will help you with yours in a minute. You got to pick yours out still. I only got it out now. I'm doing this one. Thank you. All right, so there we go. Let that set for just a minute. Let that hot for me, guy, fella. I need you. I know, but I need you to be patient for just a minute, okay? Yeah, right. And now for your marigold here, you just want to have just barely enough room to place the center in. And we got somebody from Florida. Hey, hey Florida. We're in Florida too. Right outside of Orlando in the Apopka area. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of glue here. And I'm placing that right down in the center there. Actually, I changed my You want that yellow? Okay. All right, we'll do that yellow. All right, so there is our first miracle finish. I'm going to get her templates cutting out here, and then we'll start to stem it. And you will be um, replaying this, right? Yes, there will be a replay going up, and I'm also going to be posting these on YouTube. So if you're not a big Facebook person and you want to go back there, I will be putting them up on YouTube. I forgot to put the last Facebook Live in September on YouTube. It totally slipped my mind. Um, but that one will also be going up. We did, um... oh my gosh, what did we make? <laughs> what did we make the last time? Yeah. Butterflies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Butterflies. <laughs> Oh, do you have a good that were on my door? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Well, mommy's got a lot going on. <laughs> and also right there in front of your face. Okay. So we're going to cut yours out here. And behind your face. Right here. The other one. Mm-hmm. So for these centers, I'm also going to go ahead and just do cardstock for intricate cuts to make sure that we don't have any problems with that. If you like metallic paper and you struggled with like the thinner paper where we had the rip going on here, Ooh. this one's metallic and it's by Recollections from Michaels and it's a thicker paper. So this one I know will work better than the other one. I think that one because it looks pretty mm -hmm. and it's metallic. But I think it will work. Alright. Okay. So we're going to let your center cut out and then mommy's going to show them how to spin this real quick. Got somebody from Chicago. Hi, Chicago. Is it cold there right now? I'm sure it is, but we're still at like 90 and 85% humidity. So we don't really know what cold's like anymore. And it's gotten worse over the last 10 years. Like Florida used to get some little snaps of cold. It doesn't anymore. All right, so using my 18 gauge wire here, I'm going to be about an inch down from the top or so and I'm going to bend it at a 90 degree angle, like this. And then we're going to form a little circle. Now, if this one's hard for you to work with, like I said, it's okay to use the thinner wire. Obviously, the thinner wire will be easier to mold. So I know for some people that could be a challenge. It's fine to use the 22 to 24 gauge wire. Okay. I'm using an 18 one. Here, why don't you try this one? Just do it on this end. Bend it, in, bend it down. Mm -hmm. See that on me like that? Bend it down. Yep, oh. yep. that works. Oh. 
Thank you, Chad. No, maybe it's just the coverings coming off. That's all. That's hard to cut. Those will work. Use a pair of pliers if you want. I've just been so used to using my hands over the years that that's what I end up doing. But that can also be okay. Alright, so 90 degree angle, and we formed a little circle. Okay. And there are a couple different ways you can do this. So depending on kind of what you want the bottom of your flower to look like, you know, is it gonna is the bottom of your flower gonna be completely covered once it's in an arrangement and you're not even able to see it? then you could just really stick it and then add a leaf over the bottom of the wire and you're good to go. You might be able to see a little of the wire, but if you are worried about the underside being seen at all, then I recommend cutting an extra layer here and you'll punch, you'll punch a little hole through with the wire and thread it up the wire. I guess I technically should have cut out an extra one to show you guys that part. Go on I can do that with Ella's in just a minute. Whoops. Be careful of flying wire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do this way with just a simple leaf. And then with Ella's, I'm going to cut an extra one of her pieces and show you how to thread it up. Ooh. So what I do here is I put some glue. Ella, baby, I love you, but I need you to give me a little space. That's a lot of glue. Wait, you need to glue so the glue um, stick on it. Mm -hmm. And then you can take one of these and take that. And we can we can tackle these up a little bit more in a minute once this sets. Just give it a good minute to set and hold it right. I'll hold it upright because if you let go, it's going to want to fall with the weight of the stem. And then you'll probably have to try and like get the glue off and start over again. So um, just hold it until you know that that hot glue has had a chance to set. So this is one way of just putting the wire on and kind of covering it with the leaves. And then the other way I'm going to show you how to just punch it through with a spare one. A spare uh, petal layer. Yeah, sparkles. Wait, did you put your on sparkles? I did. I just didn't seal it very well, so the sparkles or the glitter is following, but don't rub your hands on it. Alright, I'm going to tack this just a little bit. I didn't grab very much, so I'm going to tack this right there. It's a marigold flower leaves. I don't know what a marigold is. This? Yes. Let me take this one too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is one marigold. Yay! Done. Alright, so I'll set that there for just a minute. Put this back on. My thing is done. Alright, so peel it. Peel it. And yeah, let me cut another. Oops, sorry. Yeah, right there. Yeah, this time I want to be really careful not to bend myself. Remember, how do we do it? Mm -hmm. 
watch. One side is metallic, and one side is kind of darker. So we want that side. Oh, I like that. Side. And then you, want, you want the metallic side. Oh. I think that mat. Why is it cut over there? That's a funny machine. You don't think I'll get it anywhere? It's just, it's just mommy's paper didn't run all the way over and it's cutting off. Well, that's okay. You only need one? Only need one. So I just want to show them how to do it with a spare pedal. Under it? Yep. Leave that down there, sweetie. I need to not lay on the table. Right. Wow, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. it You're very pretty. You did a very good job. All right, so let's get your center in. Can I do my twisty? Yes, do your twisty thing. <laughs> and I'll put the center in for you, okay? All right, so showing you guys the center again. Just gathering this here. This is easy to do. Done. This part mommy's going to do because your hands kind of touch the bottom side of the paper where the glue's warm and I just don't want it to get on you. Okay? You want me to do this real quick? I'll do this. Okay. A few times. There we go. All right. So, here, do you want to add your center in, sweetheart? Wait a second, I need to crumple this real quick. And, yeah. All right, here we go. Ready. That's good. Now pick up your center. This? No, no. This one's going to be for the bottom. There you go. So, I'm going to put the center in right here, okay? Put it down in there. Good. Very good. Right, so, hers is done there. All right, so as far as adding, can you get me another one of these 18 gauge ones? It's in the very bottom drawer. Thank you. So I'm gonna use the thicker stem, okay, sweetheart? I wanna use that. But I'm gonna fold it because I know it's a little hard. All right, so we did the little 90 degree bend with a little circle again here. Now, using this, what I would do, you have like a, a hole punch, like a single hole punch, that can work really well. If not, you can always just, and this is puncture resistant, this mat's puncture resistant, so you can always poke it with a pair of scissors, like detail scissors. Draw a little hole. like that. Just enough to get that wire in there. Now my wire is covered, so you want to make sure it's wide enough that the covering of the wire will go in without bunching up on you, which does happen sometimes. Okay. All right, so we have a little hole that we made there for scissors. And let's grab the wire. And I'm going to thread it through. too big there, but that's okay. So you kind of want to push it right up with your thumb to the bottom, and then you'll grab your hot glue gun. And add glue around the wire and base part here, kind of be generous with it. And then place your flower on top. 
Okay, oh, you, and you want to make sure you're holding that again in place until it is finished because finished setting because um, otherwise it'll pop right off. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold that for a minute. I feel like we should have music or something. <laughs> I think next time we should have music. What would you like? Oh, let me not do this time. Next time. All right, there we go. So now that is set up. And so this is what the bottom looks like now. It's a little bit more clean. And then where I'm seeing a little bit of this wire showing through, I would grab one of my leaves and I would glue it on there. So like cover it. Cover it, right. Can you hold that steady for me, sweetie? Just hold it like that. Mm-hmm. Gentle. Don't push on it. Don't push on it, Ella. You don't have to lean on it, honey. Just hold it. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Can I keep it? Of course you can keep it. You made it. All right. So there's another approach. They both kind of look somewhat similar when they're done, but one is a little bit cleaner than the other, so if you're worried about the underside of your flowers, then that is the approach that I would use. Mine so. is, the string is kind of longer. It is. I'm just going to fold it up for now, okay? Just like that. And if you wanted to, you could always finish this off with like some floral tape, but these are covered wire, so ultimately it's really not that big of a deal. And of course, if you're putting these on a leaf or a shadow box, you wouldn't have to stem them. You could just use them as they were before they were stemmed. Can there I get this? Worse. Hmm? Can I keep this? No, you don't keep fire. It hurts you. All right, so here's your pretty flower. Show everybody. You made it. All right, so that's how we make marigolds and how we stem them. This is a marigold? It's a marigold. It's in the one because it's pink. Oh, well, marigolds come in like shades of pink. orange and gold and coral-ish. And because we're using paper, we can kind of invent it to make it. All right, so that is how you make a marigold flower. What questions do you guys have for me before? It smells good. <laughs> it smells like my favorite. It's a paper flower, honey. It can't smell. It smells like glue. I well, okay, smell. glue, I suppose. But um, yeah, I don't think glue smells good. <laughs> I like your glue. Okay. All right, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you're watching this on replay, let me know if you have questions. I'm still checking. Any questions there? Mm -hmm. Good to go. All right. If you know, if you have any more leaves left, you can attach them right here. You could attach leaves. So if you want, to, she's thinking about attaching leaves to this, um, to the stem itself. Can you change it for Well, I don't have the floral tape ready to go there, so I'm just gonna explain it to her real quick. So you could put the leaf, sort of tack it with some glue, and then you use your floral tape to wrap it all the way down to kind of make it look seamless. You could do it that way. This is a rather large, large leaf for that, so I wouldn't recommend that size. Um, but you could do that as well if you wanted to add like more greenery around there. So I would add this to my arrangement here. You want to add your today? Um, you just want to hold on to it? Put it on next to yours, right? Yeah. Okay, let me help you. Can I keep one of these ones so we could match? Sure. Or we could just keep them all in here together and... And we can make more? I'm sure. We can make more. All right. There we go. There are our marigold paper flowers. Maybe you better keep it with miracle flowers. <laughs> what are these ones? Those are zinnias. So a lot of comments saying looks great, looks real. Yep. Yeah. I love flowers that have like lots of petal layers like this because they really can look realistic. Um, the more detail you add, the more layers, the fluffier your flower looks, the more realistic it's going to look. It feels like um, I look. Sure I need that one. Yep. Mine is in the middle tab. Did I make mine good? Yes. Yay. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Make sure you download your marigold templates or join at members.abbykirstencollections.com and you can get these flowers and hundreds of more templates and designs for $9 a month. So I hope you guys will um, join me there. And we do these once a month. Um, hopefully down the road, I'm hoping to increase this to more than once a month because I like doing lives with you guys and I like the connection. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday and your weekend. Mommy, you want to say bye to everybody? Bye, but this one is like that. It was on the ground. Can we attach? And can you just one more time repeat where did the get the patterns from? Yep, members.abbykirstencollections.com. 
or you can go to my Etsy shop, catchingpelletflies.com. Um, and that is also available there if you want to download it individually. I do recommend downloading it via the members because um, you're basically paying the same amount plus a couple dollars and you get hundreds of templates for the same price. Um, so members.abbykirstencollections.com. I'll drop the link in the comments uh, so you guys can find that directly if you're watching this in the replay. And yeah, I think we're going to add another butterfly here to complete our arrangement. Any other questions, babe? All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. Please, uh, thanks for joining me. This one's a yep. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you next time. Say bye, Ella. Say bye. 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 That's my husband. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Finish.